Okay, so here we are. We're at the very beginning of our little slideshow. We've made some little transitions between each of the frames. We've added ourselves a little bit of a, a title page. I'm going to hit the space bar now and see if we can get this to play a little bit. There it is, slideshow 2015, and then it's going to dissolve away, and in comes that. That's kind of nice. And then things have been working pretty well here. We've got all our little dissolves and things are moving along. And you can see one transitions into the other. Well, you could, I'm going to hit the space bar now. You could go ahead and add another uh, final slide to this or final um, credit at the end if you want. And you could do that just by clicking on this particular layer and then copying. And if you look over on the right hand side, we can copy this. And here it is selected. And a quick way to copy it is to do the command key and J or the control key and J on a PC and there's a copy if I look go back to where our little um, video is going there's the playhead right there so whenever the playhead is that's where we see our our new layer come in I'm just gonna click hold the mouse down and drag that across until I get to the other side holding it and we're gonna get to the very end there we go and drag this back and we're going to put it just about there because I want it to be kind of over the last uh, slide. But then you notice this layer here, this is our black layer. So what I should see is this image is going to be right over that. Now let's see if our playhead uh, makes this happen. I'm going to click in here to bring that playhead up. And what I want to do is click and hold the mouse down, actually, and then hit the space bar. And I don't see anything happening. Why is that not happening? Well, here's your problem. When we did our transitions last time, the last time that we had said anything was we had our opacity at zero. Let's put our opacity back up at 100% on that particular layer. And there you go. That's what we've got. So we can have it come in and go out. We can fade this in. Make sure the playhead's over it. Click on the white. And I'm going to have this guy fade. So I click on the fade and drag it there. And then click on the fade and drag it to the end. Great, so let's see what this looks like. I'm going to bring the playhead back a little bit. We hit the space bar, and here we go, this last image, and then that fades in, and the other image fades out. Now, oh, that's interesting. The other image didn't transition out, so let's click on the last slide there and take that fade and drag that to the end of that. There we go. So what we should see now is a nice little transition between the end of the type coming in, there it is, and the last one fades, and that hangs on for a little bit. Great. Okay, so let's hit the space bar to stop. What I want to do, the last thing here is I'm going to add a little music to this, a little bit of audio. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you've got some audio that is not copyright protected. I'm going to click on the bottom layer, the whole thing says audio track, click that little music note there and hit add audio yeah if you get some music that you're kind of taking from somebody else without their permission you may end up having some problems but here's a little piece of music that I uh, wrote and recorded so I'm going to use that on the desktop I put it here the name of this is called Meadow and I'm just going to hit open and what it's going to do as soon as you click on that it puts it at the bottom of the whole entire slideshow so here's the bottom of the slideshow and I want to come over and take a look. I think this is way too long. And there it is, the green. Notice the green piece is way too long for the rest of it. So I'm just going to click on the green, hold the mouse down. I want to make sure I get that little bracket there. You see that bracket? There we go. Get that little bracket, hold it, and drag it all the way back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Kind of holding the mouse down. There we go. And drag it all the way to the end of the black layer. That's the black layer. And let's just let it dissolve. Now I can do a little click on the the end here and say fade this out. And let's fade it out. I don't know, nine in a little bit. Okay. So that looks good. Let's see what it looks like. I'm going to click back, grab that playhead. And I'm going to hit the space bar. And you're going to hear a little music. Right, it's kind of nice, right? And you could put um, you could put some credits in there, or whatever else. 
But that's how the whole thing holds together. Now we can grab that uh, playhead and drag it all the way back to the beginning. If you're anywhere in here, all you got to do to get back to the beginning is come over to this little icon, and that brings you back to the very, very front. And then if you hit the space bar to say OK, you should see what it looks like from the beginning. So I hit the space bar to stop it. And now what you got to do to get this out of here, here's your last little bit. You're going to come up to the word file on the top, and you're going to come down to export. And you're going to say render video. All right? So after you're all done, everything looks good. You double and triple and quadruple checked everything. File, export, render video. Click on that. It's going to give you some options here. What do you want to do with this? How big do you want to make it? What it's going to do is take all of your files, get all the pieces together, and say, yeah, we can make it this big, that big, whatever. So it's initializing everything. We love that. And it's going to give us a little dialog box to work with. And you got a couple of different things here. I don't want to call it drawing MP4. I want to call this one um, slideshow. And we'll just call it that. Oh, we'll call it Slideshow 2015. There we go. And what do you want to do? You know, well, your file format here, H.264, uh, that's a good file size to go with, a good file format to go with. You can make it a quick time. Uh, be careful about the DPX. It's going to break it into little frames, but let's either one of these two guys is good. But that's the default. We like that. And then you can say, how big do I want this thing to be? I can have it as high quality, but look at all your options. I can do this as 720, whatever, all kinds of goodies. So you pick what you want, you pick where it's going to go, and you can see where the, the folder is. It's going to go onto the desktop. And then you would hit render, and it would make it a compacted, filed up video, and you'd be ready to go. And there you have it.